So I'm Mike Mangan from the University of Edinburgh, I'm from the Institute of Perception, Action and Behaviour, and I'm studying navigation, but interestingly I'm taking ants as my inspiration, so going from biology to robots. So any robot that we want to be navigating our cities has to be able to lo localise itself at all times, and it has to do that very precisely. But there's current problems with current technologies like GPS, it doesn't give you an accurate enough signal, particularly in cities where you have high-rise buildings which blocks the view to satellites. Um, you could use a LiDAR scanner, but they have their own problems, for example, maybe not working in the rain. So we're taking our inspiration from ants, which are navigating in deserts, so it's really hot there, so they can't use pheromones. Instead, they use vision. So inspired by that, we've been looking at ways that we can build sensors inspired by the ant to solve the navigation problem. Um, in this specific piece of work, we're using the ultraviolet domain to segment the sky from the ground and we think that the unique signature of the skyline, I mean everyone recognises Edinburgh Castle just from the skyline, that's enough for navigation and this is what this work has been showing. So where we see it is right now robot cars are really on the cusp of coming into our cities um, but there are, there's a couple of technological gaps which they have to solve, specifically they have to be safe at all times. So we think that we might be an augmentation to systems that are already there, allowing robot cars to hit our streets. On top of that, the commercial drones are coming out. So you've seen the example with the Amazon drone that wants to deliver stuff to your back garden. They can't carry some of the heavy sensors that are used right now. Um, so in specific applications, coming into land for example, we could maybe help solve those problems. So we could see our device being used in a whole range of um, situations that would bring robots to the market soon. We've uh, had a publication in a high-ranking robot journal and now we're looking at um, possibly tying in with commercial partners to, to go from our proof of concept to more of a product.